chat box. Where the fuck is the chat box at? Suck me. Fuck me. I guess it is. Pull your stuff. fucking cock around me. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're live. I wonder if any of these fucking morons are here yet. <laughs> I don't see anyone. Fuck. How are we doing, fellas? Okay. You know, hanging in. Mm hmm. Fucking chilling. I can't complain. Just, just like legit being like, am I ever gonna return to New York? <laughs> will I, will I ever need to go back? <laughs> You'll need to suck this dick. No. Stomp. I can't, dude. I can't stomp. Stomp it. Stomp telling my friend to suck his dick. Hold on. I'm a piece of shit. No, you're not. Bubsy's here, boys. Bubsy. 3.2 Bubsy's in the mix. Bubsy, my guy. Ethom Bubsy. The, the fourth member of this shit. <laughs> What's that, Elders? The fourth member of the this shit. The fourth member. <laughs> the honorary with the, fourth. With the third biggest dick. The, four, <laughs> the fourth member <laughs> who would kill for a fourth inch of penis. <laughs> Bubsy. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Fellas, yeah. good to be back with you. It's good to be back. <clears throat> Hello, Peluchina. Hello, I Punch Mothers. What a wonderful name you have. <laughs> <laughs> Arknep says, place Call of Duty Warzone. This shit is gay. Guess what, Arknep? You could use a little fucking culture in your life, bitch. I oh, guarantee you. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan John 20? LFC Gwyn asks, what's with the gay-ass paintings? First of all, the paintings were all... Except for Aldis. His <laughs> painting sucks dick. His background's stupid. Uh, no, it's good because it requires a lot of explaining. <laughs> to even I'd start like to connect. A request to the, um, the people watching. Can you guys not be rude, please? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, can you guys not be rude? Because we're just trying to do something here. It's Seconded. Video games. Yeah, Sean Bay says Kincaid is a notorious cokehead in my hometown where he lives. Hey, there you. Yeah, Kincaid like I think he got like arrested for pissing in a trash can at Disney <laughs> World or some shit. Like, yo, shouts out to downstairs Brian with the fucking sub subscription. <laughs> um, what up downstairs? <clears throat> Hello to everyone in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Someone says audio is terrible. Whoop did he scoop did he shut the fuck up, bitch. You can hear everyone, right? Hello? Test, test. Ooh, ooh. Test, test. Can the haters hear me? A, a clever screen name and Grant PB. Audio's fine. Yes, the haters can hear you, dude. It turns out whoever said that, I forgot their name already, they are a hater. Um, <laughs> Echo on the other two, says somebody. Shut the fuck up, Bubsy. Shut the fuck up. Don't, don't push it, Bubs. <laughs> What did Bubsy say? <laughs> don't push it, Bubs. 3.2, dick ass. Don't push it, Bubs. What about now? Is the echo better now, boys? <clears throat> Who would win in a fight? Bob Saget or Chris Brown? <laughs> Chris Brown, I would think. Yeah, I think Chris Brown. Now yeah. you can't hear Eldis. Shut the fuck up, dude. Wait, now we can. <clears throat> Echo is gone. I'm a fucking tech god, bitch. Um, <clears throat> shout out to George's Hairline. All th all three Friday movies are good, says. Yeah, we have some beautiful hairlines in the family. <laughs> we have some beautiful, thick, rich hairlines. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let my hair down. <laughs> Whatever, man. The Lord, the Lord only gives us each what we can handle. <laughs> you would crumble under the pressure of what my body looks like. <laughs> you, you would be such a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that far off, except I'm taller and I have hair. And you have a fucking full beard, Eldis. You would never know what to do, dude. You think you'd have a girlfriend right now, dude? You'd be. You'd be on Reddit hard, bro. I would, man. I drip too much swag. <laughs> 
I drip. I drip far too much swag. You don't drip fuck all. <laughs> you don't drip shit. The only um, thing you drip is jit. <laughs> That's so true. What the fuck? Yeah. Um. You drip jit. No. The line small dick. I don't drip fuck all. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and uh, make sure everybody's names are accurate before we begin discussing art. And, up oh, there we go. Yep, George is right. I'm correct. And, yes, Eldis's name is the correct. The lying small... Wait, I can't even see the full thing. The lying small-dicked pussy. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it named you, dude. Are you bullshitting me? That's what your real name is, according to Twitch and Zoom. Stop put stop put your name in the uh, Wu Tang generator. Yeah, <laughs> and that that's, came out. That's my Wu Tang member name. Yeah, the lying small dick pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> we need the lying small dick pussy on a RZA beat. <laughs> Ask him. Mm-hmm. Liquid so, cocks. The li- Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Liquid nut. That's what you love to drink, <laughs> Eldis. <laughs> Eldis drips jit. <laughs> hey. Liquid nut and pork sword. Pork swords. <laughs> that's what Eldis that's would be <laughs> it's one or the other for you, Eldis. No. Yeah. Actually yes. Yeah. Actually I yes. I do have a pork sword. No, you don't. Um, okay, well, look, we got, we got a fucking, we got the fucking art to teach you fucking idiots. And, um, last week we covered Caravaggio, which was great. This man's a homosexual yeah. brawler. Um, he was a goon. He was a fucking straight goon. <laughs> Before that, we talked Frida, who was, uh, she was great. Good painter. Cool stuff. And we, and we idolized Diego. We idolized Diego, the her husband who cucked her mercilessly, even though who he was just, just bad as just shit. Just dogged her like a bastard. Yeah, that's he, right. he was getting pussy off the clout for sure. Shouts <laughs> out to Chef Dab for the su- subscription. Thank you, my brother. What up, Chef? <clears throat> cuck Dali. Dali the absolute cuck. In what many call the golden era of this stream, uh, when it was just me and George. <laughs> <laughs> the golden age of the seminar <laughs> um <clears throat> for those of you who are asking why i'm not shirtless it's because twitch doesn't allow it or else i would be <laughs> nugget in denver salute to you with your two nugget. Month, the two-month streak big nugs um <clears throat> elders what are you sipping on dude can check columbus brewing company very no, nice I'm in Ohio. I had to go local. Had to get it in Ohio. I had to get it in Ohio, like Cameron. <laughs> we are doing Francis Bacon yam big, uh, but I have a leftover Caravaggio because I just fuck with I fuck with the light. You know I'm a light slut, a slut for light. Um, Whoop diddy scoopy says they got disgustingly high off edibles. Stevie Wonder quick scopes. You subscribe. Thank you, my brother. Um, and anyway, folks, it's time to learn, you fucking idiots. It's time for you to take your, get your notebooks out. There will be a quiz. And if you fail, you have to eat Eldis's ass. And you don't want to go near that furry little hole. You really don't. <laughs> but that's what happens if you fail. <laughs> you fail the quiz at the end. Um, <laughs> so we're going to talk Francis Bacon, who I don't actually know much about. This is I like this one because I don't even know that much about his paintings either. Um, I think I've seen one of some of the, probably his most famous one. I don't know if it's most famous, but I really don't know shit about him. I don't know. The name Francis Bacon sounds like it was in the 1400s and he was like a lord, but I think he's much yeah. more modern than that. There's well, Francis... a dude with that same name who was from like the 1500s. Oh, really? He's yeah. like a philosopher or some shit. He's like um... one of the like, he was like one of the first like real renaissance ass thinkers. What was he? What did he think about? Um, what did he think about? He just wrote a bunch of like skeptic shit hmm. back back in like the late what was it like late fourteen hundreds, early fifteen hundreds, that kind of shit. I believe it was the, around the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> what does a skeptic in the fifteen hundreds talk about, dude? Uh, I don't even know. I don't know his shit that good. Respect to Mood, philosophers. Moody's son aren't the same thing. 
Philosophy is such a fucking scam, dude. Yeah. You just sit around like, damn, what the fuck is, what the fuck's going on? L- legit back then when everyone was so fucking dumb. When everyone was just afraid of, like, dying from the plague still. Yeah, dude. These guys yeah. come out writing some clever little lines. Did they and... get Did they get paid? What did, what did the philosophers make money? How? Mm, I think, I think they it's just probably, rich? Yeah, I think it's probably, like, you're just rich already and... Yeah, you can, like, so you can sit around. around. You don't have to be fucking pulling up turnips, or else the guy, the guy, the fucking lord <laughs> that you live, whose property you live on, will slice your cock off if you don't give him an, another enough bushels of turnips. <laughs> so you can sit around and be like, "Damn, what the fuck is up?" <laughs> You're like, "Damn, everything that people nowadays say is is right." That shit is not necessarily actually. Even right. I don't know that that's right. <laughs> They're not even saying it's wrong. They're like, it's not even, it might not be. <laughs> I would have been so good at being a fucking philosopher, dude. You just fucking lie about knowing shit. And especially back then when everyone was stupid. Yeah. Who's going to check you? Yeah. Damn. Damn, dude. Uh, so anyway, Francis ba- the original Francis Bacon, it was some guy who spent all day thinking. And stop, this... it's, stop, it's like, anyway, here we are talking about famous artists in history. Yeah. <laughs> Francis Bacon was born in a nursing home at 63 Lower Baggage Street. Hold on, I want to look, I want to look up, oh, I want to look up the other Francis Bacon. He's called the first Viscount of St. Alban. <laughs> yeah, that's some rich shit. What a fucking loser. I would fuck this guy. I, th- I think it was, isn't he like Sir Francis Bacon? Too? The father of empiricism. Fuck off, dude. Empirically oh, yeah. suck this dick. If no, you he ask wasn't me. Sir, he was Mister. Hmm. Mister Francis Bacon. Mister Francis. He was a... <laughs> he was Saint fr- Alban. Was he Albanian? No, bitch. Oh. The patron Alban. saint. The patron saint of not go- going without a bath for three <laughs> weeks. Saint Alban. <laughs> he wasn't Albanian. He was from England. He was a patron of libraries and developed a functional system He's the, for, the, for the cataloging of books by dividing them into three categories, history, poetry, and philosophy. <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous. Some guy's like, yo, maybe we shouldn't just have a room full of random ass books. He didn't even alphabetize them. He just said, put them by subject. And he gets a fucking write up. A patron of libraries. Yeah, here goes France. Here goes, here goes this St. Alban. Very nice. He's a good. One. He's the patron saint of pulling a. Uh, <laughs> he's the patron saint of pulling a food stamp scam, so you can buy fucking drumsticks with it. <laughs> so you can buy ice cream with it. He's the patron saint. <laughs> the patron saint of going to a uh, an Albanian loan shark to get more money for scratch offs. Come on, man! <laughs> Don't do my people like that. <laughs> He like looks him. cute though. That is a fun. Listen, that's a fun little outfit, and his his curls look cute. Yeah, I like that little poofy collar. What was up with the collars? Why do you think they were wearing that kind of shit? I really don't know. Just a stunt. Just, probably just a flex. Like honestly, mm. that leather that leather is looking crazy. Yeah, the coat is cute for sure. You can't hit on that shit. Um, yeah, that coat looks nice. Anyway, fuck this guy. Fuck being a philosopher and fucking being like, let's put books in three piles. <laughs> <laughs> he was the father of putting books in piles. History, poetry, and philosophy. <laughs> he he laid the gr- he laid the groundwork. <laughs> putting books in numerical. And yeah. Dewey order. Decimal. Dewey Decimal. Who was that motherfucker? Now that guy. That's a great man right there, dude. He was that guy, in Hershey Park, Pennsylvania. Dewey Decimal. Yeah. I think. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Yeah, he loved the roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> and he, th- he used to think a lot on the roller coasters. Nice. That's awesome. I, re- dude. I remember I went to Hershey Park in middle school for a band trip, mm-hmm. and some some guy on the bus asked me for my French horn like lube, the French horn Vaseline we put on the valves. He got jerked off with it in the back, <laughs> and he gave it back to me after. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> He's like, quick, look at a guy who definitely doesn't has will not get pussy for another seven years. 
who looks like that? <laughs> Ask him for his lube. His I, bet that, lube. I bet that big oafish type with a French horn case. <laughs> That's incredible, dude. Respect. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, let's get it. I'm glad that that guy jerk got jerked off. Salute to him. Um, let's Shout get Trey. Let's get to our the man of the hour, Francis Bacon, not the bitch ass philosopher, but the fucking painter, um, whom whom I do not know shit about. Honestly, I really don't know who the fuck this guy is. So, I'm gonna learn just like you animals. I'm gonna I'm gonna take knowledge in today. So, Professor Halkius, why don't you begin the lecture today? Francis Bacon was born in a nursing home at 63 Lower Baggett Street, mm. Dublin, Ireland, on the 28th of October, 1909. Dublin, okay. Nice. He was born to English parents who recently settled in Ireland. Um, hmm. So he's probably croaked recently, huh? Or I guess that'll that come up later. Yeah. <laughs> Is, uh... <laughs> Is Pop Pop Anthony Edward Mortimer Bacon? That's a great name. Yeah, I know. Anthony Edwards Mortimer Bacon. He's the fat, light skinned com- comedic actor. Yeah. <laughs> He's the guy from <laughs> Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> he was a retired Army major. And um, Francis's mom's Christina Damn. Winifred Loxley Bacon. That man was a uh, retired in the army in the eighteen in the Irish army in the eighteen hundreds. Nineteen ten, bruh. But that's when he was born. So his dad was, but he was. So that means he was in the army in the eighteen hundreds. Hell no, probably nineteen oh two. Yeah, probably. could have been early. Could have been early. What 1900s. the fuck kind of armies did Ireland even have back then, dude? Just throwing I potatoes. Was, I think he was just an English guy uh, in the English army, and then they moved to Ireland. Uh, I see. Yeah. Get yourself a little Guinness. Yeah. yeah, and his mommy came from a family who established their fortune in steel. Oh, shit. So his mom was, like, well off. Got you. Shouts you out know. to Mortimer, dude. Shouts out to Morty getting that fucking rich pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and then going to Ireland. Oh, yeah. Going to Ireland, Ma. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, during World War One, he, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, his dad served in the war office... But then there was all that like war of independence shit in Ireland. Yeah. So they, they were said fuck off, the like, queen. They were fucking with the Protestants big time. So they were just like moving around from like <laughs> Irish county to Irish county. So they were getting threatened because they were Anglo's. Mm. Damn. Yeah, that's just a little bit of his uh, family background. We're jumping to the 1920s. Oh, um, ba- Bacon's emerging homosexuality. <laughs> Severely nice. strained relations with his uh, family. <laughs> you don't say Mortimer wasn't with it? No. <laughs> and at the age of 16, he was expelled from his household after Major Bacon caught his son trying on his mother's underwear. Oh, oh damn, oh, dude. That's awesome. That's classic. That's like yeah. what, a, that's what a homophobe thinks a gay teenager would do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. most of them don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he had a classic. Classic oh, gay yeah. teenager. Fuck yeah, dude. Damn. Back then, it, back then they probably did it more. Why do you say that? Just yeah, less, why? Just less outlets back then. A little less, you know, public. So, what do you mean by that? So you're saying to him, to him, it felt gay to put on women's clothing. Yeah. He, he was doing. He was like, to him, that's the equivalent of watching RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Something like He's that. He's just putting like... on. He's just like you know, you gotta you gotta do what you can around the house. You don't right. have the internet. You don't got TV. Make do of the be- of the best situation. <laughs> it's kind of like being gay in quarantine. Is being gay in the nineteen tens. You can't yeah. suck a man's penis, so why don't you throw your mom's underwear on? Exactly. <laughs> I see. I see. That yeah, makes you know a lot what of I'm sense. I got about. you, brother. I see your line of thought as a philosopher, <laughs> as a modern day philosopher. So Major Bacon caught him fucking... Major Bacon's what I call my dick, by the way. So Major Bacon <laughs> caught him... <laughs> Major Bacon caught him putting on some fucking... I wonder what 1920s fucking women's underwear even looked like. I wonder if it was even hot. Probably some nasty-ass garments and shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
like one of three pairs or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it says here, like Aldous, Bacon's humiliation was heightened <laughs> by a strong physical attraction towards his father. Oh first my realized, god, what? First you realized were... through sexual encounters with stable hands. Whoa, so, what? I don't know, I guess Damn. he was just fucking stable hands. So that's what it says, just to be clear, Aldous, or George, in the article <laughs> you're reading, it said, like Aldous. Yeah, like Aldous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on, can we, can we unpack that? Like Elvis Sula, parentheses, born 1989. <laughs> oh, so they're definitely talking about our friend Elvis. Yeah. Like also known as the lying small dicked pussy. Yeah. What? Is that in there too? Yeah. So I feel like uh, his dad had like a like a stable with like horses and shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, maybe he just saw his dad interacting with these stable hands. Mm. And then he was like, ooh, maybe I should suck these stable hands off. So this guy is a classic, like, has daddy issues. Like, he's a yeah. twink. His French and he got kicked out at 16. Uh, here, let's see. Um, I found a couple young pics. There's let's a lot look more at him young. Picks. Let's see how hot yeah. he was. So here's like, okay, this is like, okay. He's like in a field here. I don't even know if you can mm, see him that well. Yep. Oh, my God. That's but. a man that wants to get ravaged. <laughs> That's him right Look there. Look at his posture, dude. Yeah. That man is trying to get f- <laughs> fucked in a poppy field in the ass big time. <laughs> <laughs> He's going home for supper. They're like, Francis, why is there hay? Why is there hay in your hair? <laughs> He's like, oh, I was just rolling around. Why are you spitting out hay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's just biting on a big ass block of hay. Oh, he's getting <laughs> fucked in the stable. <laughs> do you think? Do you think he made them like fuck him, or he'd tell his dad on them and fire them? Ooh. Or something? <laughs> Shit, oh, Elvis is hard. Get, Elvis is hard to... at that scenario. Elvis <laughs> <laughs> is filling in some of the color on this gay sex. <laughs> this nineteen twenties gay sex. <laughs> I mean, you think it'd be something like that? <laughs> Yeah, you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think? So wait, he fucked the stable hands or he was just jacking off to them? He said encounters. Uh, he was, yeah, encounters. So I guess whatever they were doing, they were doing some sort of sexual encounters with stable hands. There was some touching, bro. Some jerking There's off. Some real shit. Some this and that. Well, you never know. Back then, dude, you know, it's like in the country. It's like, you know how like... Where's that? There's a like village in Colombia where if you fuck donkeys, you're not, you're, it's totally normal. Yeah. And I feel like a lot, there's a lot of old ass cultures that are like, well, this kid is clearly a gay, which means he's half, <laughs> halfway to a woman. I'm not fucking him, or he's not fucking me. I'm fucking, him. he's the gay one. Yeah. I bet you there's plenty of stable hands that probably just, were like, yeah, I'll get a nut off off this small yeah. gay man. Yeah. I you can know? see that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It really does, yeah. Um, so anyway, so off. he's looking cute over here. Looking cute, got kicked out for being a bad boy, putting on his mommy's garments, <laughs> sucking off stable hands. <laughs> and um, so he was 16 years old, and he traveled to London. He got kicked out of his house. Okay. So okay. Um, he basically drifted around in London, and his mom was like, his mom still like liked him and shit, so she gave him like some money just to like survive. Mm. Um, three, it says here three pounds a week. I don't know what the what that means. Yeah, a modest amount. So Sounds pretty know. modest, the equivalent. Um, she so. was like, "Well, you're gay, but I guess you're still my child and a human <laughs> being. <laughs> so I guess I'll give you a little something so you don't starve out there. I'll give you three dollars a week or whatever the fuck." <laughs> Um, okay, so, so he's over there in London as a teen. Yep. Which back then you're an adult, base. Sixteen, it's like yeah, you're an adult back then. Yep. Three pounds a week allowance from his mother, um, and he would do a series of he would be just do s- series of odd jobs and um, encounters with older men. So oh, <laughs> hell he yes. just... odd jobs and encounters with older men. But, huh? Yes, this he would definitely have an OnlyFans, dude, if he was around right now. Oh yeah. He would be what? Yep. He would be putting that hole on display for tips. I'm trying to look at that face. So he's an old-fashioned, like, fuckboy. Yeah. And not in the sense now that it's been taken. It's been stolen, a term stolen by women. 
yeah. to denigrate men, <laughs> men who still wear like Etnies belts. <laughs> and fuck them without texting them back. <laughs> Original fuck boys were men kicked out of their homes who had to suck and fuck for shelter. Okay? Yes. Again, another 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 thing uh, white women have stolen from us. <laughs> <laughs> um it also says here um he had a he would engage in petty theft or riffling through the pockets of a casual pickup. Oh so, man. He yeah. was on his Cardi B shit. Yeah, so he would fucking rob. He would fucking rob. <laughs> That's awesome. I love and, this guy. He's a little scoundrel, dude. Yeah, dude. And um, check this out. Bacon's father made one final attempt to influence his son's life. He arranged for Francis to accompany a friend and relation on his wife's side, a certain Harcourt Smith, on a trip to Berlin in 1927. Eddie Bacon seemed to have hoped that the ultra-masculine Harcourt Smith would iron out his son's effeminacy. Instead, the sexually voracious guardian took advantage of his charge, um, and he basically just fucked Francis a bunch. Of <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, talk about talk about the that's the that's the most curb your enthusiasm music moment I've ever heard. In my life. Is that bum, is so bum, dumb, bum, da, 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 da. He's like, listen, man, I'll make a man out of this kid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just get him that ticket. Send holy, him over to Berlin with holy me. Holy fucking shit. He's like, Francis, I'm going to send you away with the sexiest guy I know. <laughs> the most hard, yeah. <laughs> the biggest, strongest, ultra what, What's his sexy name? Guy. George, what's that guy's name? Harcourt Smith. <laughs> Dude, that's... Harcourt, baby. Fuck, he sounds awesome. I want to know more about Harcourt. Let's see. What Damn, that's so here. funny. William Harcourt Smith, or his first name was Harcourt. How do you spell Harcourt? Hold on, it looks like dash. It looks like Hardcore Dash Smith. Hmm. I wonder who that guy was. Cecil Harcourt Smith. Cecil. Oh, that's at him. Hold on. Damn, I need to know more about Harcourt, dude. Is this? C you think it's Cecil? All I all it said was a Harcourt Smith. I can share screen at, this guy. I'm looking at something. Hold on. Okay. Bacon's father ex exacerbated by his son's queerness. Damn, is that Harcourt? Been... Is that Cecil? Oh. It says Cecil right dude, here. That guy is going to work your hole over no problem, dude. <laughs> that looks like a straight man, dude. That's the most dom daddy I've ever seen in my life, dude. This man's got a leather cap. This man is meant to have a leather cap on and just fucking. You know he's got a fucking a hoop. A hoop earring around one of his nipples, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. As family friend Har Cecil Harcourt Smith to straighten him out, Harcourt Smith took the 16-year-old to Berlin. But rather than cure Bacon of his homosexuality, Harcourt Smith fucked him mercilessly for a few days until he <laughs> lost interest. <laughs> The Wait, teen elected to what, stay. <laughs> what, the, what website are you reading that's publishing that? It's, Tell me the pop up ads definitely have guys jerking off on them. Whatever it's you're something on. called the it's something called Daily Extra, like nice. X T R A. Respect. Harcourt Smith fucked him mercilessly for a few days until he lost interest. The best the part is he lost interest. He's like, I all know. right, I got my nut off. <laughs> The teen elected to stay in Berlin a while longer, turning tricks and stealing money in what was then the world's <laughs> premier city of sin. <laughs> dude, this is incre that's incredible, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's holy shit. Good yeah. for them, dude. That's a great dude, if you're if you're fuck if you're both of these guys, that's pretty that's a pretty nice holiday. Yeah. So hardcore is gay, right? Clearly. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, he's the absolute tough. opposite end of the spectrum. Like his dad, that's how stupid, like they only thought gay guys were guys who put on clothing, <laughs> get women's clothing, not realizing that somebody has to fuck those guys. <laughs> that was the guy right there. Yeah, dude. The most masculine men are gay men because they're the men that don't need women at all. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> like Cecil. Like Cecil, dude. Salute to Cecil. Damn, dude. You got to get this guy off the screen. I'm getting hard. Fucked okay. him mercilessly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, <laughs> hold on, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, he did. He went to Berlin. He turned tricks after Cecil left. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Major Bacon got absolutely owned. <laughs> He's like, "All right, Francis, you get one more chance. You get he, one more chance to prove to me you're a man." Mm-hmm. He, he got totally fucking pwned. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. All right, Francis, I'm sending you. <clears throat> you're gonna learn to be a manly man. So I have. Uh, I'm, I've hired a men's gymnastics team. They're the strongest guys I know. You are going to work out with them hours on end. You're going to train your body. And at the end of the day, you're all going to go find pussy together. And you're going to go do it a, like, 72 boat ride away, 72-hour <laughs> boat ride away from home. Clear we're, your head. A cabin. <laughs> uh, there's a cabin I've rented for you. And the Irish men's gymnastics team, and you were gonna train. You're gonna get strong, and you're gonna come back, and you're gonna get pussy. (laughs) That rules, man. Yeah, man. So after he was being a bad boy with his guardian, Mm -hmm. um, after he got a little couple couple schnitzels uh, rolled up and shoved in his ass in Berlin, (laughs) what do you do after that? Well, he like Elda said, he turned tricks, and then um. For a couple months and then he went to paris um but in paris he, he was doing a little bit of the same but he was also checking out the art and um mm. uh you can only mom- suck and fuck for so many hours in the day exactly. <laughs> you gotta let your you gotta let your asshole recover you could only get for- mercilessly <laughs> fucked so he didn't paint this so but <laughs> oh shit this painting is like what inspired him a lot it's called um, The Massacre of the Innocents. Damn, that man is fucking that baby up. <laughs> yeah. And he said he, he, like, loved the, like, fear and anguish in the woman's face. It, like, got yeah. him fucking pumped. So, like, in the few, like, we'll, we'll see a bunch of paintings where he just, like, paints a bunch of weird fucking faces looking all, like, yeah, I don't anguish know, and terrified shit. and whatever. Yeah. You think so he jacked off? Hard. You think he jacked off fantasizing about being the baby? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There's a little. <laughs> yeah. Don't show the baby cock. penis. <laughs> Lyosil, that guy is not stepping on me. That is a baby. That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that man really has his foot on that neck. He is. Fu- I mean, I've, that baby just like chill, dude. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop, yo. <laughs> I like that lady in the background just looking, not doing shit about it. Like, hmm, that's kind of fucked up. He's like, this is fucked up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah, he, yeah, this painting really um, um, made him inspired. And so, he, he is like, he painting yeah, at all at this time? Or is he just kind of no, no, not, not really. Yeah, he, like, I think he, like, made some bullshit like a couple like little bullshits that like kind of suck and they were like like ripoffs of artists he really liked but right. like nothing like serious gotcha um so yeah um he 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 returned to london and became an interior designer <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> um so he got a little bit of like a little bit of success like interior designing mm-hmm. which is pretty funny um could so... you do was that a thing you could be known for back then yeah, I guess. I, think, I guess there were so yeah. many rich people in the 30s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Among Bacon's earliest patrons of his uh, furniture design was Eric Hall, a well-off married man and pillar of the community who like continued an intimate affair with the artist for 15 years. <laughs> yes. I love Frank. Frankie Bacon getting his fucking bacon suff- sucked. <laughs> I love him, dude. He's awesome. Dude, we got a lot of sluts so far. Everyone we've covered so far has been a sexual deviant or a whore. <laughs> when are we ever going to... And I, I barely knew about this guy. So Dude, like, I didn't know shit about him. I knew what, one of the paintings that I saw somewhere in New York yeah. um, where I went recently. Where did I go recently? MoMA? I don't remember. But um, 
Dude, imagine if this guy and Caravaggio ever met. The kind oh of fucking God. these boys, those that boys would, would do. Savage. He'd be Caravaggio carrying Caravaggio's probably. sword for sure. <laughs> <He'd be> oh, <laughs> yeah. Caravaggio would be, have drawn him as a little woodland nymph. <laughs> <laughs> Um, big respect, dude. So yeah, over, let's see. Um, over the next twenty years, he shared various living quarters with his old nanny, Jessie Lightfoot, <laughs> but also be light with her fingers when their funds ran short. So his old nanny would basically rob for them. Dude, they this were- guy <laughs> rocks. This guy fucking rules. Oh my you God. know his old nanny was some like fucking chain smoking dumb bitch too. Like <laughs> this, th- these people. It's so awesome seeing these, like learning about these people through history because it's like you know every single one of these people. Like yeah. you've yeah. met them. You've met yeah, a fucking. Yeah. Uh, 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 a nanny who's also shoplifts and has her best friend as a gay guy, <laughs> and they do fucking ketamine together and just fucking yeah, and watch and watch Ninety Day Fiance. He's awesome. like, yeah, I'm an interior designer and shit. That's what he's just saying to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a just like, but he's just like fucking his only client. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So is he really a client, you know? Is he just buying for some ass? So do we have any more pictures of him young? Does he look... Do All we have is the one in the field. I want to see how cute he was. There's one... See, like... There's a lot that are, like... He's, like... So, um... Fuck, here. Well, I'll show you this one. He had asthma, right? So he couldn't... He wasn't allowed to be in the war. Mm-hmm. So he was in, like, this, like, air raid squad where he... It's got like, him. This is him. That's him? Oh, I thought it was the guy down low. Where? You know the one that looks gay. Oh, this boy? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's him right here. No, wow. That guy's just got British face down That's there. true. You're right. He looks British. Yeah. He looks like he does. He's like a bare knuckle boxer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that's him. That guy, the guy, that guy down there looks like the guy from the Cheers credits. No, no. Him? That one. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, God, damn, he's yeah. actually not as sexy as I thought he was going to be. I guess he was just... He had a voracious gay energy about him. Yeah. The army was not his scene, though. Like He, he had asthma. He couldn't be, be in the army. Yeah. So he this was like a firefighter slash, like, they would pick up the dead bodies in World War One or Two. Fuck. Hold on, 1930. He honestly... Yeah, World War II. It's definitely that, yeah. The two guys at the bottom are the only guys that are look... Inter- Francis Bacon does not look interesting at all here. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a he nervous like little... He just doesn't want to do any of this shit. Yeah, he looks like a nervous little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> also, that yeah, does, is that literally Hitler back? The, also, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. Those stashes were like popping back then. Yeah. Those shits were cool back then. And then Hitler had to fuck it all up. For real. He had to fuck it up. I would love to be rocking the little Hitler dude right now. As a yeah, Charlie dude. Chaplin homage. So that was him when he was a little younger. Um, yeah, young France. Hold on, let's see. Doesn't um, look that hot, honestly. Thought he'd be hotter. No, he's not that hot. I like, I like that little Timmy, Th- the little Timmy Fix smirk he had in that field photo. Yeah, <laughs> he was, he was, a, he was thick. thotting it up in that one. I want to be thick like Timmy. Whoa, what's this? So, at the age of twenty-three, <laughs> Bacon painted his first truly original work entitled Crucifixion, nineteen thirty-three. Damn, this actually is pretty interesting. Yeah, it gave him his first shine in the art world. People okay. Like, Ooh, this is kind of tight. That's what's up. This kinda... looks like a jid cobweb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, dude. And a lot of his shit was like, um, like a lot of people didn't fuck with him because like, like you know, anything that has to do with like a cross and like an uber religious place, it was like a oh, lot true. of people didn't fuck with it. It's just some weird, like, ghoulish-looking thing on a cross. But, yeah. You know, um, yeah, so after this... It definitely fucking feels like horror-y. Yeah, scary, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. He's a horrorcore artist. I'll show you, dude. I'll show you, man. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he gets some shine, and then he has, like, a show, but his show eats complete shit. Oh, he no. A, he has a one-man show, February 1934, Sold very poorly and received a condescending notice in the Times. <laughs> um, Damn. Damn. Uh, 
Frank Frank Bacon had to he spent months with his with his fucking uh, nanny roommate doing poppers to get over it. <laughs> Just there is, chain dark smoking dark. menthols and, and doing poppers <laughs> for three weeks in a row. So after that, he couldn't take uh, the the defeat. So his output in artwork declined, and he returned to his previous drifting life. Damn. Um, <laughs> so he was on the precipice, and then he went right back to sucking cock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, barely any of his work survived from this period. Most of it was destroyed by him. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. A pattern of ruthless self-editing that he pursued most of his life, particularly during his early years. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So 1940, his asthma. He was unfit for active service in World War II. He volunteered for the civil defense um, and the air raid precautions. His duties included firefighting, civilian rescue, and recovery of the dead. Um, his asthma worsened amidst the rubble-strewn streets, and he had to resign because he had terrible asthma. Holy rash. shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, that so shit wasn't for him. That really was not for him. He had to stick to that other shit. <laughs> He's like, damn, maybe I got to give this painting shit one more crack. Yeah. Damn, that's exactly. a tough time to be an asthmatic gay guy. All the guys are out there <laughs> fighting. There's no put there's no cock anywhere. <laughs> and and you're fucking and the Germans are fucking your whole shit up. Yeah. Where do you even get put Yeah, where are you even getting giving pussy up to? Damn. Okay. It's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Just put this for for later here. Um so in 1943 Bacon moved to South Kensington with his um, <laughs> with his fucking nanny, Miss Lightfoot, <laughs> and they turned Ms. it into an illegal gambling hall. Oh fuck yes! Hell dude. yeah! What does Miss Lightfoot look like? Do we know? What's her name? Jessie Lightfoot. I want to see if she's hot. Lori? No. Lori Lightfoot is the fucking Chicago go uh, mayor. Miss Lightfoot, what? is it Judith? The no, no, Jesse. The lifelong spinster was Francis Bacon's childhood. Oh, name. so she's a lesbian. <laughs> a fucking lesbian and a gay guy got together and got a pad together, dude. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any pics of her? Not really. No. I see, oh shit! I think I think this is one of her with Francis as a baby. Nice. I think that's his. That's his mom. Oh, is that his mom? I think. I well, whatever. This. Too. So this is. Is this his shit that pops off after during the war? What's this? That are we looking yeah, at? Yeah. So um, he moved in with Lightfoot again, and they turned their apartment into an illegal gambling hall. Hell yeah! Making that dollar, one yeah. way or another. And in that illegal gambling hall <laughs> slash apartment, he created a painting that finally <laughs> launched his name, a work that unnerved its first audience. This is called Three Studies for Figures at the Base of a Crucifixion. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, he loves yeah, crucifixion, huh? It's kind of tough. I mean, it's weird as shit. It's all fucked up. I'm trying to remember. And, and an early triptych. Wasn't that his shit? Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. he was. He exactly. was a big triptych guy. Triptychs, yeah. diptychs, yeah. <laughs> he would dip his dick in the Earl paint and paint triptychs <laughs> with his dipped dick. His dick tip. <laughs> That's a tongue torster. <laughs> What the fuck does this remind me of? I think I it's like some movie I just watched. Um, where someone's all fucked up and it's like mutating. Shit. I don't know. I just watched Alien. No. Although sort of, but not. that's not what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Maybe it's literally I'm thinking of Resident Evil or some fucking bullshit. Maybe. By the way, could I, could I read an awesome headline from the Times? Yeah. yeah. Bacon's nanny knew best how to source drugs and gay lovers. <laughs> yeah. oh, she rocks dude I love these two You got a fucking You got a lesbian You got a fucking little gay guy That's a dynamic deal. They're fucking gambling They're getting pussy They're getting cock They're getting You know they're getting fucked up Off with the finest drugs <laughs> Yeah seriously Respect Opium Ah man Okay This is pretty cool So yeah this shit popped him off For real for real Um So the following year, Bacon realized a work of unparalleled ambition. Um, painting, 1946. Here it is. 
Oh yeah, this shit's cool as fuck. I've seen this yeah. is the one I saw in person. Yeah. Is this oh, in really? MoMA? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's at right now. But this shit really popped them off big time. Yeah, this is a this is a cool painting. Although I do I, part of this, it's a little. His shit is a little too like fucking nine inch nail Marilyn Manson. For yeah. Me. It's like yeah. Adam's family. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, his shit's really dope, but it's also like corny, like yeah. horror-style yeah. Halloween type shit. He's like, I make dark, fucked-up shit. That's <laughs> yeah. really how I can best describe it. <laughs> My shit is like really fucked up, coming from a dark place. <laughs> yeah. So and Miss Lightfoot is like, mm-hmm. She's like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's what I think. Get this loud pack and get back to work. Yeah. Now beat it. I got a munch box. <laughs> so Miss Lightfoot's we... got a heavy pussy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Video gamer ninety five said corn B side album cover. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is funny, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, this also, it's it, whatever the screen, not the screen cap or whatever. It this does look way cooler in person. I will say. Yeah. Having yeah, seen yeah. this shit in person. Yeah. This, this this one looks a little pixelated. Oh, does it? Fuck. Does it? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's pixelated or if it just is. It's just, you can't because it's a huge painting too. I don't oh, know if is you, it? Yeah, it's hum, it's humongous. Um, yeah. But. This was his big. This was big shit, and this is all about what. This has something to do with like World War Two or some fucking bullshit. Yeah, I wish he fucking um, named his painting. Like this shit's just called a painting. Really? Like it gives no explanation. Yeah, hold on. He's like, my shit is like Christ on meat hooks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Further like, detail. Really fucked. Yeah, up. it's it's in MoMA. Yes, I've seen it. It's 77 by 52 inches. Yeah, it's big as fuck. Yeah, like it's, my it's my dick. No. <laughs> like my dick. No, Eldis, like my I dick. I said it first, so I get it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Bitch. Faggot. Both your cocks are 77 by 52 inches. <laughs> well, mine is, but <laughs> mine technically Eldis gets to say his is because he said it first. You guys can't even ham sex or something like that. I could. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I trying to find. Too. I'm trying to see if I have it somewhere. I can if I you can just find a pussy that big. Maybe I can just. Oh fuck. Maybe I can try to Google, just a better. Damn. What was that crazy ass Google? Was that the homepage? Hey. Really? That shit looked. Shut up, yo. Hold shut on. The hell up. <laughs> shut the hell up, Eldis. Can you shut up for one fucking second? I'm trying to do something. Can you yo. cool it? I'm sorry, man. Apology ass fucked. <laughs> I feel like I have this picture. I feel like I took this picture. But you I can't it. find it. I can't find it because my dick is too small right now. I don't know if this if this picture would be better. Let's see. I had, it had like a whole write-up. I don't know. Does this, does this look better? Yeah, it looks a little better. A little bit. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, who gives a fuck? It had, it's something to, it had something to do with the fucking Chancellor. It had something to do with Hitler, I think. Neville Fuckbottom, or whatever the fuck the guy's name was, that was the <laughs> Chancellor of... Neville Longbottom, from Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 Whoever was the guy before the fat guy, Winston Churchill, he did some sus shit. Hitler, Hitler pwned him, and I think this is something about that. Bobby Little Bottom. <laughs> he got his little bottom pop. But yeah, so Chamberlain. Have... Neville Chamberlain, the ch- oh. the chat says. So I knew I knew his name. Good shit. Thanks, mate. So what do we got after this? After painting. So, so he sells his painting like really fast. And um he's all happy and shit. He goes to Monte Carlo. Ooh. Um, there he gambles recklessly. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, icing on the cake. There, this guy rocks. This guy fucking rocks. 
sometimes with considerable success. So he would lose a bunch, but he, uh, he would also win a bunch. That's awesome. The next few years, he stayed there and enjoyed the nightlife, barely painting at all. Years? This man got one W and was like, I'm good. I'm going to take six years off to get fu- drink mojitos, play blackjack, and get my pool blown out. He's like... He's like, yeah, I'm a famous painter back home. (laughs) Wow, respect. So basically, he (laughs) he stayed there most of the time, but he would go back to London for like a week or two to paint because he couldn't paint in Monte Carlo. (laughs) He was just, he was too fucking, like he wanted to fucking gamble. Yeah, I love this guy, man. He just woke up like they like, he just woke up one day like, damn, man, I cannot paint here. (laughs) <laughs> I haven't painted anything since 1946. <laughs> it's 1949. So what's crazy about this is um his lifestyle is what kind of like made his art like famous for like what it was. So while Bacon sent letters to his patrons reassuring them that he was busy at work in Monte Carlo <laughs> and naturally that he needed additional funds to finish. Yes. <laughs> He had next to nothing to show for himself. (laughs) He rules. As his first one-man show approached, he returned to London and rapidly built up a body of work. (laughs) He was just like, fuck. What does this shit do? He was just like, oh, fuck. What do I got to do now? When's the show? (laughs) He bought himself time just telling his patrons in letters like, Oh yeah, man! I got this one crazy one. It's like a, a crow carcass. Yeah, like, I'm fucking cooking. Trust me. But listen, I need a couple thousand. He's like, look, I'm gonna do. I'm I'm about to make the equivalent of an Eminem verse about killing your mom. I'm gonna make the painting equivalent. <laughs> so because he didn't have a lot of time and had to make like 15 paintings in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's he went to Sherwood Williams and just got rollers. <laughs> he's painting a fucking house. I love him. Yeah. He bought ten gallons of Promar two hundred tricorn black. <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah, dude. The works were simpler because of this, reduced with one exception to a single figure and a far most uh, far more focused in expression. So he was dwelling on significant details like open mouths teeth ears and safety pins which is funny and corny but i love that he he you know he was like yeah took me fucking years to come up with this and he was just like i only have time to do the mouth (laughs) so i fucking this guy fucking rules he's paying like mouths on the ends of elbows (laughs) yeah fucking puffer fish bullshit (laughs) <laughs> Look at that. because he had barely any time to finish his paintings he came out with monstrosities like this and were just like half melted heads with fucked up teeth and people ate that shit up people were like wow dude wow. this guy's fucking crazy so his fucking laziness and uh, sloppiness made him like a famous artist in a way I That's love awesome. him dude um, this, so- is the, this is the producer's this is the producers of paintings. <laughs> like he did everything to make it a piece of shit, and it turned out interesting. <laughs> so another uh, detail is that he didn't have time to prime his paintings, so all of these paintings are unprimed. <laughs> and, it, it, like, again, he, he got lucky because it ended up, like, looking cooler. Right, because it fades and shit if you don't prime them, right? Yeah, or some shit. I don't know. It makes it like it's less, like it's smoother too, like a way mm-hmm. smoother surface. So like the unprimed canvas gave it more texture, and That's like he was like, damn, this is kind of lit. Yeah. So he just started using unprimed canvases. <laughs> so this one week, like like popped him off. Just like wow. he had no time, he used unprimed canvases and made paintings like this because he barely had any time, and everybody loved it. I That's love this guy, awesome. dude. Yeah, dude. So, and then, uh, and then for months, you know, he was like, "Yeah, so my shit is like, I'm d- I'm going on unprimed canvas. I think that really brings out the textures a lot more." Yeah, I really haven't seen a motherfucker do that before me, really. So hey. that's really my shit. And the guy's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So you want it in your mouth or on your back?" <laughs> <laughs> my wife will be home in any minute, so we'll just tell her you were finishing up the chandeliers. <laughs> Damn, 
This guy rocks. Yeah. Um, okay, so so after that, he made this one that everybody fucking sucked him off over. Um, it's called Head Six. Oh, yeah. Created in 1949. <laughs> I want some head of um, infinity. Um, it, it's a oh, variation yeah. on Velasquez's portrait of Pope Innocent the Tenth. This actually is fucking cool. Yeah, that yeah. shit's kind of tight. This one is actually pretty awesome. I I do. This is like the first thing I've I think I've really recognized so far here. Yeah, yeah. This shit so. looks like Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, I know, dude. All like half his shits look like Emperor Palpatine just screaming in a chair. They're all kind of lit, to be honest. Yeah, this was Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. Oh, gotcha. This one is actually pretty fucking tight. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look as like fucking like as much of a Marilyn as Marilyn Manson postery. Yeah, <laughs> it has that horror element. There's something really unsettling about it, but it's like. Yeah. And especially if it's like draw draws on like a pope, or right. some like you know the pope is a fuck is like damned type of fucking shit, like which is still ultimately stuff. still like some Eminem type shit. Like, what if the yeah. priest was the devil? <laughs> yeah, you, you know what it is—the fact that like it's not a complete figure. I think is what makes it more intriguing than like yeah. things that just look like a cow on a meat hook or some shit. Yeah, this yeah. look. I mean, this looks like this fucking person is. In a- he looks evil. He looks like he's being punished. Right. And he looks like his fucking head has already dis- disappeared and the rest of him either is is about to or, like, he's, pe- he's perpetually in this fucked up state. Yeah. But also that he was doing this shit in, like, the 40s is kind of tight. Yeah. Like, now people are corny and, like, dress up like... That's true. That's true. He deserves credit for doing... Like, even... People, the worst art now would be fucking revolutionary back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so, in 1950, this is just like a little tidbit, he he sailed out to South Africa where his mother moved after his father's death. Hell yeah. And his sisters, Ianthi and Winnie, lived in southern Rhodesia, which is modern Zimbabwe. What the fuck? Fucking uh, weird shit. You know they were doing some fucked up shit. They were doing some sex slavery. Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. I don't trust that shit at all. Yeah. Why the they, fuck would they, they go to Rhodesia? They they really Aren't those colonies. They're probably just British colonies. That's true. Shit. They got they got run out of Ireland. <laughs> yeah. By the yeah. IRA. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they weren't around yet, were they? Were I they mean, th- I mean that's probably. that's the that's the like extension of. Because I feel like a British guy going to Ireland back then is like the same thing, kind of. Not really. But I see like, what you mean. Yeah, it's it, it's, it's seen as a colony. Yeah, it's a stepping stone to going to the far. It's like whoa. The world. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I forget that even up until like the forties. I mean, up until like what the sixties. I mean, Canada still has fucking the Queen on on their fucking money and shit. Yeah. yeah. Damn, but that's so crazy. They corny. They are. Anyway. They corny. So he was out there getting some fucking Zimbabwe and dick as, as well. <laughs> Big he was on a world he was on a world cock tasting course. <laughs> yeah, he also made this. Hold on, let's see. Um in the fifties. So nineteen fifty one, nineteen fifty two, he went there and then um in the same two years he made this painting, which is called um Eldest Eating Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, <I do>. So <laughs> I don't know how he knew our friend. But, That's crazy. Because yeah. didn't they say what what happened earlier? They also referenced Elders. Yeah, um, when it when he was attracted to his dad by fucking stable <laughs> right. hands, like the stable eldest. hands, yeah, yeah. That's how the sentence started in his biography. <laughs> what the fuck? It's fucking weird, but yeah, you can see it looks a lot like him. Yeah, right here. that does look like me, honestly. <laughs> uh, fuck, Wha- shaved, waxed eldest, <laughs> waxed eldest at the trough is what this one is called. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's a good one. This is interesting, actually. Yeah. 
But I don't see a big ass dick hanging out from between his. No, legs. that's where that part is absolutely. That's actually what you can definitely tell that it's you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Just broad ass naked with no cock in sight. <laughs> This shit is hard. This shit kind of looks like the animation from, like, Duck Man or something. What's this one called, George? Man Kneeling in Grass. Man Kneeling in Grass. <clears throat> this is called Ellis and His Friend. <laughs> yeah. This one, this one is awesome. Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, he so he he does have this quality of people like almost disappearing or like yeah, yeah. fading away or yeah it's it's, om- tight. it's cool I mean it's weird this one feels like yeah um, based on images of wrestlers but manipulated to more personal and sexual ends images of wrestlers <laughs> come on Bacon was aware of the ambiguity between the movements of wrestlers and lovers. Actually, acutely so, since his own love life had recently taken an obsessive and masochistic turn. Oh, of course, this guy. Okay. Of course. Okay. So uh, recently, Matthew... he was getting mercilessly fucked in his when he was 16 years old or whatever. <laughs> yeah. In the hay up. pile. Um, Dude, that still is the best part of this whole story. His <laughs> dad's friend just fucking his. His. <laughs> you know that guy was like. Could not believe how lucky he was. How this was falling into his lap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take him to the gayest town in the world right now. And turn him straight. <laughs> Dead. Fuck yeah, dude. It was lit. Um, yeah, this is cool. There's some, I don't lo- There's something about his shit I find... I mean, it's supposed to be unsettling, I guess. But there's something that's just sort of unappealing or unattractive to me yeah yeah. in a way that almost might be by design or might be like his trademark right something feels off but i because of that i just can't fully fuck with even though i've i the good ones i respect i can't fully fuck with them right yeah i know you see another one hold on yeah it's like these like these are lit i like the ones with like the weird creepy popes yeah those are kind of tight those are like my faves of his yeah, and again, when you're doing this in what the 40s and 50s, yeah, it's a lot more like you're actually doing something as opposed to now, where it's like, yeah, who gives a fuck, right? Yeah. This shit, this shit does look like deviant art, like someone's yeah. deviant art page or some shit. Yeah. I do like that the Pope has a. It looks like a straight up circumcised penis for a, <laughs> the top of his head. I'm trying to suck the Pope's fucking head, dude. <laughs> Mm. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Um I mean the face on. isn't sh- the face on that one was kinda cool, but the fucking I don't really fuck with like even like the the colors and the rest of it just was not that interesting to me. Yeah. He's a dark guy. <sighs> Technic um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, but check this out, man. Eric Hall is one of his patrons who was married and was fucking him. Um, 1950, he basically left him, mm. um, but he also left his wife and children. Oh, shit. Um, so Bacon left that place that he was living with his nanny in 1951 because she died. Oh, fuck. Damn, RIP to Jesse. And that event traumatized him, and it led him to some um, cocks, some new relationships. <laughs> um, and how old is he right at the time? Let's see, 1950, like... I guess 48, 42, something like that. He was born in 1909. So 41? Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. He was roommates with his nanny till he was 40 years old. (laughs) This guy is fucking fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) He really is. Wanted to fuck his dad, lived with his nanny, who was like his lesbian best friend, turning tricks... Yeah, so he needed he needed to fill that void in his life, and he he found it with a former fighter and test pilot, Peter Lacey. Um, he loves a, Dom Daddies, dude. He does. Dude. <laughs> it was a potent mixture of the compulsive and destructive, and Bacon remained enthralled to Lacey's neurotic sadism for much of the decade. Damn neurotic sadism. 
So he's getting yeah, like whipped and shit. Yeah. This guy literally is a guy who would just be into DeviantArt if he was around today. Yeah. Like, he's lucky he came around. He came around at the exact right time in the world where the stuff you make, the stuff he makes, like, if he, if it wasn't, if he came, if he was alive now, he'd be making, like, Sonic with his fucking balls in a vice. Like, <laughs> Tails, <laughs> Tails tying up Sonic's cock. His with favorite chains. movie would be Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, absolutely. <laughs> For sure. Um, oh. So. His boyfriend, Lacey, moved to Tangier in the mid-1950s. Nice. And Bacon followed him. Um, so, basically, he's there in Tangier getting freaky with his um, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, and his, But his reputation started growing, like, internationally. He was hot. Um, he signed a contract in October 1958 with Marlboro Fine Art. Marlboro? Um, like, not the cigarettes. It was just called Marlboro, yeah. Nice. After its directors had offered to take on the considerable debt of 1,242 uh, pounds he then owed to the Hanover Gallery. So all those all those <laughs> oh nights of Monte Carlo god. asking for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And just just for like 1,200 bucks. Yeah. He was He's like, like run, 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 that, run that contract up. He was like, I'll do it. Let's get it. What are you sharing? It's not coming through, Georgie. It's not? Fuck. Just as George Hockey has started screen sharing. Oh, there we Fuck. go. Can okay. I go take a piss? I'll yeah. Right yeah, you yeah, can, I bitch. I don't care. Go ahead. I don't care. This um, one's kind of interesting. Yeah, once again, it's called Three Studies for a Crucifixion. So I don't get what his obsession with crucifixions. I don't even see it. Anything. Yeah. Resembling a crucifixion. Maybe a little bit the last one. Oh, yeah. you know, I just realized what it was that this reminds me of. Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> Have you ever seen that anime? No. We watched that shit with Pete. Um, there was some grotesque tooth and mouth shit, actually. Weirdly, oh. there's some Francis Bacon type shit in there. Interesting. Let me see. Um, it won't pop it right up. Now. Um... But yeah, after he signed that contract, he made this. Again, this is just like Halloween fucking shit. <laughs> like <Right. laughs> all his shit is like that. Yeah. Um, he he admitted that it was painted during an unusually booze fueled fortnight. Mm, nice. A working method that rarely delivered results, but in this case, it did. Um, and after this, he just started making like hella triptychs. Yeah. He seems like a guy who honestly was phoning it in, dude. <laughs> just knowing what yeah, we know yeah. about him. Yeah. He's just like, whatever. Pay me. I need money for fucking... I need money to fucking get, get fucked in for costumes to be fucked in. <laughs> I need Everybody loved him, dude. Um, People liked him? Yeah, dude. He was hot as shit. Um, three Studies for a Crucifixion was included along with 90 other works in a major retrospective at the Tate Gallery in May that year. Hmm. Man. So he had a fucking, like, big, dumbass personal show. That's Solo crazy. show. Um, yeah, and he was like... And who were, like, his contemporaries? Was he, like, the biggest artist of his time? Not biggest, but up there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let me see. British contemporaries of the 50s are just, like... All over the place. Yeah, this is around the time. I mean, what's our girl? Isn't she around? Who? Uh, Frida. Frida. I think she. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think she died around. No, when did she die? Frida. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess this was like she died the mad time young, she was getting kind of big. Yeah, I mean, this shit is not. I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> like he had a couple good ones, but. So you know what I will say? Like, his shit. For like the early twentieth century is kinda whack and it is kinda like um you know, it is kinda Marilyn Manson, but yeah. Around this era, this is like just post war. And there was an explosion yeah, of post war true. art that was just like about the grotesque and shit like that. Yeah, it was just like very grotesque. That makes very, sense. Very about like decay, so the, I mean kinda, that yeah. He kinda like and this shit like looks more interesting, I think, than the other stuff we've looked at. 
So we, Jackson we got, Pollock was around, Mark Rothko. Right. Oh, Rothko can suck my fucking Willem dick. Willem de Kooning. Like, all these people kind of suck to me. To yeah. Be honest. Yeah, but I think, I think, like, especially in Europe, like, the American, like, conceptualists were kind of, like, you know, they were just, like, clever faggots. But I think, uh, especially in Europe, it was just, like, I don't know. It was just, like, all about decay and shit and, like, the yeah. brutality of war, which is why his like which is why like you know his art probably was was like the perfect place perfect time kind of thing yeah right. makes sense yeah that totally makes sense i guess especially when you've just gone through that such as like, something as fucked up as world war Two in fucking england yeah like this shit you 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 fucking you're putting in onto you know canvas just some horrible shit some horrific shit right, right. Um, but yeah, so he did that huge show, um, 90 works. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, later that year, his boyfriend died in Tangier. Damn. Um, bummer. So 1963, a new man entered Bacon's life. George Dyer was a dapper East Ender with a petty criminal past. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Um, he was just a little Jack boy. <laughs> So, in 1971, Dyer tried to frame him Hell for yeah. possession of cannabis by hiding two grams of it in his studio. <laughs> two grams? <laughs> Just two fucking dime bags of weed, and he called the cops. <laughs> oh, my God. So, he, he was acquitted, because, I don't know, maybe they were just like, this motherfucker literally tried to frame this famous artist. Who yeah, knows? yeah. Um, so the artist now set his sights on a retrospective exhibition in Paris, an honor uh, exceptional for a living painter. So he was doing big things. Um, two nights before the opening show, um, Dyer was found dead from a drink and barbiturate overdose in a bathroom <laughs> in a hotel in Paris. Oh, my God. Wow. Francis was like, oh, I just really want to party tonight. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. I'm not feeling up to it. Let's party. No, Come on. let's party. Finish your drink. <laughs> can you can you do me a favor? Can you finish your drink? <laughs> yeah, just all of it, please. <laughs> so, yeah, another another one of his boyfriends was partially taken away from him. And then two nights later, he was like, well, the show must go on. <laughs> the show must Time go on. my big retrospective. <laughs> the show must go on. And not uh, not so long after that, he met John Edwards, another good-looking EastEnder. Okay. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, who was helping his brothers manage pubs. So he was just like a pub manager. Mm, rough um, and tumble bar back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love this. And Francis is, at this point, Frank is like 45, 50. Yeah, like 50, yeah. He fucking rocks. He's, he's got cool. He's got life figured out. He does. Truly. The, you snitch on me, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Truly not that different from Caravaggio. He's no. the bottom version of Caravaggio, who's clearly a top. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Um, so let's see. Here's another triptych. Uh, two figures lying on a bed with attendants. So he just loves triptychs. Whoa, I kind of like this one. Yeah. yeah. This is like a, a later on. So like later on, he starts adding a little more color to his art. Yeah. Um, I like that it's not as horror-y. Yeah. I think he, he chills out later on. Yeah. It's like yeah. more colorful. It's like just uh, two old guys watching two other old guys have sex. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Salvador Dali right here. Yeah. Watching before he takes his clothes off to jerk off. Yeah. Probably George Dyer. Yeah, this Sorry. is kind of interesting. Yeah. Maybe I just don't like horror stuff, dude. Yeah. I do like the Pope ones where they look all freaky. Those Pope ones are cool, are especially the first one we saw where he's like kind of the f top head is missing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the Pope ones. I think I think like just even the triptychs are like, you know, on their own, none of these would be that interesting. Yeah. Or something, but I don't know. 
There's some interesting little interplay going on here. Three, three of them make a little story. That's what I'm saying. Without those two... Even this one, though, it's like... If I saw this at a fucking museum, I wouldn't be like, whoa. You know what I mean? He doesn't... He just yeah. doesn't... He, this guy's not my favorite. I'll put it that way, I guess. Fair enough, yeah. My favorite part of the fucking blinds, for some reason. I agree with that, dude. Yeah. I actually agree with that. The blinds are tight. The blinds... There, there's something about this that just looks like pulpy, like, detective story, comic book sort of thing, almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So that's these. This is not. Oh, hold on. And there's that little chicken right there, or whatever the fuck. The chicken right that's there. Like that bird, not on the left oh, side. Over here. Yeah. True, indeed. But uh, <laughs> some bullshit. I don't know. So yeah, the, um, going into the '80s now. Over the next course. The '80s. Uh, Damn, this man. Yeah. So the '70s was like. The big show in Paris, uh, George Dyer dying. Oh, is this the 70s? This is like 1970 or something. This right Oh, now. that that makes sense, too. I, I fucking hate like all the colors from the 70s. Yeah. It was just like all <laughs> washed out earthy bullshit like that. Whoa. I guess this is a little darker, but 1973. Back to his roots. See, That's the other thing with this guy, and I think we talked about it while you were taking the piss out. This is like, he probably was just fucking phoning it in, dude. He's just trying yeah. to cash in. He's famous now. He's just trying to make money. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know. I agree. It's not. It's not my favorite either, for sure. But. Yeah. You know, there's something. There's something there. I mean, yeah. people fucking had to love this guy. He he was like, he had big stupid ass shows, and I like didn't even know about him. But I guess, you know, fans are fans. Yeah. Dude, I've definitely, like, when I look at this, I definitely have been like that on the toilet, just like on a rough <laughs> shit after a day where I barely oh, yeah. drank yeah, water. Yeah, I guess this is like, this, if you're like a fucking, you're an aging party gay guy in, <laughs> who's rich, has all the drugs he wants, you've had some hangovers that, are, that make you feel like Nosferatu. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Yeah, he wild out. I mean, as, as an old man, he just was going around the world doing big ass shows nice. um madrid tokyo washington dc tate gallery in london um mm, interesting major retrospective this time with 125 works at the God tate gallery damn. three years later um a retrospective was held in moscow it was the first show by a major western artist to be mounted in the soviet union hmm. Whoa. So he was doing big shit yeah um, big shit popping there, yeah. there is some dark shit to this, like the way, just like the, the into the way that like Russian people just freak you out for some reason. You know? <laughs> yeah, they probably loved all this shit so much. <laughs> they probably uplifted them, made them happy. Nice. Fucked up shit. Is he, but... He's not still alive. There's no way. No, 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 no. no. Um, so we're going into the 1990s. You know, we watched, we looked at all his work, his fucked up life. Now he's like super famous. Um, but in the 90s, his health was worsening. Mm. Um, cancerous kidney removed in 1989. Damn. Um, however, he'd not given up on desire. <laughs> he, uh, there wasn't a name for this guy. It just says he enjoyed a passionate relationship with a young Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> who he had met in 1987. Against his doctor's advice, Bacon made a trip to Madrid in 92. Damn, like bro. just sick as shit, just to get some cock. Wow, you um, can't you can't send this boy over on a fucking first class flight. <laughs> I know, dude. You can't you fly you him out. Go over, man. You gotta go feel alive. Yep. I love that, dude. So he fell critically ill <laughs> after the fucking after the plane ride. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> to get to hit some skins, dude. To bust a nut, of course it is. <laughs> With a young Spaniard, dude. come on. <laughs> So, yeah, so he, he literally went mid-April, and on the 28th of April, he suffered a heart attack and died. <laughs> he died stupid. doing what he loved, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Stupidly getting cock. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, Damn. Bacon's remains were cremated in Spain, and as he requested, there was no service. 
Uh, they were shoved up the Spaniard's ass. <laughs> Make them into a plaster mold. Yeah, they made, Yeah, they they molded his uh, ashes into an asshole that the Spaniard continues to fuck to this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. One of one of his boyfriends got got a huge come up. His ashes were transported to England, and they were scattered in a private ceremony. Bacon named John Edwards as the sole heir to his estate. Wow. So, like, his last serious boyfriend got all their fucking cake. Damn. Respect, yeah, dude. dude. So, yeah. There's the boy Francis, man. Shouts out to Frank Bacon, dude. Shout out to Francis. <laughs> say, say what you will about his art, but he lived life on his own terms. <laughs> Absolutely. He did, From dude. the... From the ripe age of 16 or whatever the <laughs> fuck. Whenever he was jerking off the cow hands. Yes, Let's sir. some older pictures of him. There's him. Okay. He's a grown, like a little grown boy. Okay. This is uh, him looking crazy in his old age. Oh, yeah. That's the man uh, that's like, I don't care. I'm going to Madrid. <laughs> Dude, that, that is that is Miss Lightfoot's spirit living yeah. by Madrid. <laughs> There's my guy. I love Frank, dude. Yeah. All right, so where does okay? Let's do our let's do our power rankings, right? So Caravaggio, I think, is still number one. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. They're all creeps, dude. Um, it's hard because it's like we've got Diego's also. Diego, yeah. Oh, fuck. We got to think hard about this, man. This is really hard, dude. Because Diego... he was. Diego's a savage, but he's just like making making do with what life gave him in the best way. Yeah, I mean, Caravaggio has to be number one, right? He was yeah. a fugitive <laughs> yeah, like three times killing. over. Yeah. His yeah. also, I like his work better than Bacon. His work easy. was awesome. Yeah. We have to think about the art has to actually matter. Okay, we're adding the artwork. Okay. Yeah. Um, Caravaggio, he's got to be number one. Caravaggio's number one. I but think Salvador's artwork is like really fucking crazy. Salvador's artwork is so good that it makes up for the fact that he's literally a cuck. <laughs> that every other aspect of his life is so fucking lame and he's such a bitch in it. <laughs> Damn, I wish I was on that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you weren't, so. <laughs> That's you true. could only dream about it. <laughs> bitch. Um, Caravaggio's number one. Bitch. I might have to put Diego, too, man. Yeah. He wasn't even technically. Um, we were talking about his wife. Yeah. And he just, <laughs> just took over. <laughs> We're just erasing her from history. <laughs> She's just a footnote in his story. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. her art, her art was legit, like better than his. He he was good though. His art was good. I know. I got I gotta look at more of it. I don't even remember it that much. I think I'm fucking with the Frida episode a little more so far. There was a lot going on in Frida's episode. Maybe. I mean, I mean, Francis Bacon's life was probably the best so far for me. It was interesting and fun. Caravaggio's car- life is better, dude. Yeah, dude. It's it's more interesting, but it has it has too much murder in it to ground it in reality. <laughs> That's <forever>. true. <laughs> and you know what? Frank Frank went out on top. Caravaggio <laughs> died on a boat. Died on a boat fleeing of one of his many convictions. Of lead poisoning and sepsis <laughs> shock from a stab wound. So Frank wins life wise, but yeah, his absolutely. artwork is so much worse. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. You have dude, to I mean, give Caravaggio. Artists back then were just so much more like technically sound than like anyone now. Right, that's true. Like the shittiest painters back then were like technically better than like Francis Bacon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, that's Caravaggio true. was lit. Yeah, Caravaggio really spent good. fucking in a sweatshop painting fruit. Yeah, spent yeah. Years. So okay, life. Bacon is number one. And um, Our hard work, he's like last compared to what we've done with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Frida's shit was harder than his. Oh, easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. He did okay. He had some hard shit, but like, okay, let's go. Down. Let's go. Life for Bacon number one, Caravaggio two, sure. Yeah, Diego three. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frida was just Frida, like and then getting fucked around on, and then um, so Frida and Salvador, and then Salvador is last with a bullet. Salvador is so last <laughs> when it comes to life, the life of a fucking cuck, dude. <laughs> and then artwork, my favorite is probably Caravaggio. Then, ooh, wait, Salvador, fuck. Salvador's really good, man. I think you got to put him as number two. 
I put Vagio. I don't. I don't. I personally don't even put Caravaggio as one. Who do you put as one? Dali. Um, Dali and then Frida, or do you like Frida more than Dali? I might put Frida just because I don't really know Dali's work that much. Uh, I think like, you should look at other shit. other other than the obvious shit, which is really awesome. But I mean, yeah. I would I would probably rank Frida and like Dali pretty closely, you know. One and two. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. And then, and then, um, who's the other motherfucker? Diego. Diego's better than bacon and painting. <laughs> he yeah. is. Bacon yeah. shit is fine, but his his getting stuffed. This is real talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also feel like for Caravaggio, that shit like you need to truly like know some of the theology for that art to really register. Yeah. I don't know any of that shit. What are you talking about? I think it yeah. looks tight. Right, Look at the right. shit behind me, dude. This old fucker in a skull. I think it looks tight too, but. I just, I don't know. And technically, he was just so much. That's the thing. George is right. These fuckers were doing this with, like, I mean, they, they their technical skill was so good with such limited, like, resources. It's really insane yeah. how good they were. I just, I'm more impressed by older art that looks, like, this good. Yeah. Even though you could argue they're not saying as much. You know what I mean? Like, Frida's, some of, Frida's best artwork is saying more. Carvajal is almost never saying anything. He's just good at making things look fucking violent or gay or both. <laughs> and he's really good at fucking with light. But I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll have to think. Next week we'll do our we'll, – we have to start the official rankings. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's life and then there's art and then there has to be the combined rankings too. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Well, folks, anybody have any questions? Uh, final questions for our our panel of art art uh, aficionados, art art guys, esteemed art historians. Lenny Mike just says, "What is up, guys? You are all looking cool today. Thank you, Lenny. Thanks, Lenny. <laughs> Thanks, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny. Because Susanik says Caravaggio was like Tyler the Creator or something like that. <laughs> yeah." Well, okay. Yeah, I, yes, that's sir. cool. He's gay and he makes cool yeah. stuff. I agree. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> um, someone says Goggin or Gauguin would be a good one. Okay. When are you guys Ooh. doing an episode on Nanette? Very good. Very good, my friend. Great. That's a good joke. Um, <laughs> I love these streams. You guys are the best. Thank you, Two Minute Shout Shite. Thanks, Two Minute Shite. Curvy <laughs> Corpse asked if we can do Hitler. <laughs> Uh, I don't think enough of his artwork is out there, and I think maybe some of his post-art career would muddle our ability to judge him fairly. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe if maybe we could supplement what he doesn't have in uh, art output by his literary output. <laughs> yeah, from book club. <laughs> um. Basquiat is overrated. Well, maybe we'll do a Basquiat. Maybe you guys would enjoy Hieronymus Bosch. Bosch, okay. Maybe. Yeah. All right, don't go go in. Jabroni, Bosch. Jabroni Candy ass. Learned a lot today. You're welcome. Jabroni <laughs> Candy ass. <laughs> Very lit. Glortho asked, "Do you dislike all abstract expressionism?" I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna guess that yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. I I think you do. Abstract stuff. expressionism is like the fucking, is like mo modern shit where nothing means anything. It's like a line and a dot and all this fucking bullshit. Uh, it yeah. can suck my fucking hard dick as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Goya would be a good one. We'll do Goya at some point. Goya. Yeah, I'm trying to think who would be good. Edvard Mucha. Somebody says. Edvard. Caroline Calloway, fuck that bitch. Emily Carr, I don't know who that is. Emily Carr. Abstract Expressionism was literally funded by the CIA. So I'm right in thinking it sucks dick. I'm a yeah, fucking What's genius. his name? Jackson Pollock. Oh, that's, that can suck my dick. That's, that stuff is okay as a screensaver at most. No, I think, I think 
I, there was this thing I saw online that talked about how like conceptual art of like the 50s and 60s in America was funded by the CIA. Yeah, Jackson Pollock was, bro. Yeah, it was. They, they like touted that shit all over the world just to make America look like cutting edge and shit. That's so fucking annoying. But also man. that it didn't have like any political stand. It was just like right, blobs on right, paint. Right. On, on yeah. Canvas. Yeah. Uh, you can't do po- It's like yeah. Should we do Yoko Ono? That would be an interesting <laughs> one. Someone says H.R. Giger. Isn't he the guy that did? <laughs> isn't he the guy that did all the concept art for Alien? That guy is like Francis Bacon on yeah steroids. Oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, this guy is sexy. Giger is? <laughs> Google this guy. <laughs> yeah, oh Giger my god, that. hold on. Maybe I should screen share HR Giger. You got oh hell yeah, dude. Picture. This guy rocks. Right, one, second. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Oh my god. God damn it, it's all his paintings on his fat face. Hell yeah. Hold on. Can I cue it? Yeah. The lying dick small pussy screen shared. <laughs> lying small dick pussy. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's a sexy guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. It looks like one of the aliens uh, is incubating inside of Neil Young. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh yeah. fuck! That's good. <clears throat> okay. Um. No, it is not stopping five years. Godfrey, Godfrey, <laughs> he has more hair than me. Thank you. <laughs> so um, that could be if you keep growing the hair out. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, stop! I think this one is you. No, it's not. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. Perfect timing, Eldis. And that's going to be do it for Eldis. Uh... <laughs> that's going to be the stream for today, folks. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. We'll be back next Monday, seven thirty. As always, uh, we'll be here Monday, seven thirty. Follow George's art at Judzy. Art by Judzy. Art by Judzy. D-Z- oh, D Z I E. It's Thanks. in the chat right now. Um, thank you to Brokaw for cheering. Um, we'll be back every Monday, 7.30, and I will be back Friday for Stabby Solves Your Problems, our sixth episode. Love uh, it. Call me, leave a voicemail if, you, if you're wondering about anything, 903-883-STAV. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Peace out.